Thank you for inviting me here tonight. Um, I want you to please take a look at my website, aldugan4supervisor.org, and look at my qualifications. I'm running because we, Marin has a critical issues ahead of us. My campaign slogan is time for change. We have to fight intolerable traffic and excess development. That's the key issue heading forward for Marin at this point. Now, I've worked extensively on the housing issue, and I have a plan to make sure that Marin County gets reasonable housing. Fiscal sustainability. I have a strong financial background and analytical skills. Check my, res check my resume on my website. We have a $638 million pension unfunded liability right now. We have got to fix that and we've got to make it work moving forward. We also have a budget deficit predicted in 2018, 2019. And then finally, the major issue is we need engagement in Marin County. We, there's too much backroom deals, special interest, and in not engaging the public. Too many projects, like the flood basin projects, start completely planned and then they come to citizens and everybody goes what are you doing so we've had that happen in nevada with a bus station that 106 bus drivers said it's unsafe but they're continuing to build it so it is time for public engagement i'm going to hold town halls and i'm going to make sure i am engaged with the people of marin thank you important question and i think one of the issues is definitely second units. Um, it allows the kids to start in the back and then the seniors to go back and let the kids have the house. So it's a common sense thing. But I think the best program I've seen for seniors is done by the Rotary Club in Nevada. And the reason it's so important is they build it and people from Nevada can go to that housing. Now when affordable housing is built with federal money, there's a lottery, and people from all over the area can get in. We had Warner Creek built in Nevada. It had 61 units, and after the lottery, only nine people from Nevada got into that facility. So we got to approach this in a common sense way and make sure we're really taking care of seniors in Marin County. Thank you. Well, as far as affordable housing, I believe the requirement for a new development to have 20% affordable housing is the way to do it. But I think we have to use second units and generally promote smaller infill projects. And I think that's the best way to achieve the affordable housing goals. As far as rent control, you've got to be careful because if you control the rent, people won't build new buildings because the rent will be controlled. So I think we have to look at it, we have to study it, and we have to understand it, but we gotta make sure we don't do more harm than good by using rent control. Thank you. you know, I think we're reaching a new paradigm with water, and we're gonna have to really consider ways to store more water moving forward. So I think that's a consideration for Lake Stafford moving forward. As far as the airport, I haven't gotten deeply into that project. I know that there's people for it and people against it. I would like to see what they are saying and why they want to expand it and what, what will actually be the goal and what will be the result of expanding it. How will it help the people of Moran? I have a true proven track record as an executive and a leader for the last 24 years. And I have a tremendous background in finance and analytical skills. The two critical issues I brought up, which is getting the housing right, because we're at a critical point, and fixing the pensions, which are a $638 million liability right now, are critical for this county moving forward. Those are by far the most critical issues we have. The making sure we get our housing up, allocation correct impacts every aspect of the quality of life in Marin. 
traffic, water, schools, you name it. So I hope you will consider voting for me. Go to aldugan4supervisor.org.